Covalent bonds are the most common type of chemical bond found in the body and hold together most of the body's chemical molecules. Covalent bonds form when pairs of valence electrons, the electrons in the outermost shell of an atom, are shared between two or more atoms. The atoms can be of the same or different elements. One, two, or three pairs of valence electrons can be shared in a covalent bond. Compared to ionic bonds, covalent bonds are the stronger bond. The more electron pairs that are shared between the atoms, the stronger the bond. When pairs of valence electrons are shared between atoms, like this pair of electrons shown in red, the valence shells of both atoms are filled at least part of the time. This is what creates the strength of the covalent bond. As an analogy, think of a covalent bond as a strong handshake. Covalent bonds are named based upon the number of electron pairs they share. A single covalent bond forms when two atoms share one pair of electrons. An example of a molecule held together by a single covalent bond is hydrogen gas, which has a molecular formula of H2. A molecular formula is a convenient abbreviation for a molecule, but it doesn't tell us anything about the type of bonds holding the atoms together. This is where structural formulas come in handy. In a structural formula, we can represent covalent bonds by including straight line dashes between the chemical symbols for the atoms. Each dash represents one shared pair of electrons. The structural formula for hydrogen gas is H dash H, with one dash between the hydrogen atoms representing the single covalent bond. A double covalent bond forms when two atoms share two pairs of electrons. An example of a molecule held together by a double covalent bond is oxygen gas, with a molecular formula of O2. The structural formula for oxygen gas is this with two dashes between the oxygen atoms representing the double covalent bond. A triple covalent bond forms when two atoms share three pairs of electrons. This is the strongest type of covalent bond. An example of a molecule held together by a triple covalent bond is nitrogen gas with a molecular formula of N2. The structural formula for nitrogen gas is written with three dashes between the nitrogen atoms, representing the triple covalent bond. Covalent bonds can form between atoms of the same or different elements. For example, a molecule of methane gas with the molecular formula CH4 contains a single covalent bond between the carbon atom and each of the four hydrogen atoms. Its structural formula is written as a carbon with four dashes between each of the four hydrogen atoms, with each dash representing one of the four single covalent bonds. An atom of carbon has six protons and six electrons. There are two electrons in its first electron shell and four electrons in its second shell, which is also its valence shell. Carbon can hold up to four more electrons in its valence shell for a maximum of eight. An atom of hydrogen has one proton and one electron. Its single electron is placed in its first and only electron shell, 
which is also its valence shell. Hydrogen can hold a maximum of two electrons in its first shell. In methane's four single covalent bonds, each hydrogen atom is able to share one pair of electrons with the carbon atom. In covalent bonds, electrons can be shared equally or unequally between two atoms. A nonpolar covalent bond forms when two or more atoms share electrons equally. Both atoms have the same level of attraction for the shared electrons. Methane is an example of a molecule held together by nonpolar covalent bonds. The term nonpolar means that there is no electrical charge. There is no region of the molecule that is any more positive or negative than another region. Nonpolar covalent bonds often occur between the same atoms. The bonds formed between the atoms making up hydrogen gas, oxygen gas, and nitrogen gas are examples of nonpolar covalent bonds. Polar covalent bonds form when two or more atoms share electrons unequally. One atom attracts the shared electrons more strongly than the other atoms. Polar covalent bonds always occur between different atoms. A common example of a molecule containing polar covalent bonds is water, H2O. As a result of a polar covalent bond, the resulting molecule ends up having a partial negative charge near the atom with a stronger attraction for electrons, and the other atom or atoms in the molecule will have a partial positive charge. The stronger attraction for electrons by one of the atoms is due to it having a greater electronegativity which is a measure of an atom's ability to pull a shared pair of electrons toward itself. As an analogy, think of the atoms involved in a polar covalent bond as being in a tug of war, with the rope being the shared pair of electrons. The atom with the greater electronegativity will pull harder on the electrons than the atom or atoms with the lesser electronegativity. The oxygen atom has a greater electronegativity compared to the hydrogen atoms and is therefore pulling harder on the shared electrons and ultimately wins the tug of war. Because of its victory, the oxygen end of the water molecule has a partial negative charge and the hydrogen end has a partial positive charge. The water molecules, polar covalent bonds, and resulting separation of negative and positive charge classify it as a polar molecule. A polar molecule is also called a dipole because it has two poles. This is similar to a bar magnet or the planet Earth having separate north and south poles on opposite ends. Because of this attraction for chemical substances having either a positive or negative charge, polar molecules such as water are excellent at dissolving a wide variety of molecules and ions.